Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time and uh, today we have this little setup here that I want to break down for you. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe before we go in, like, subscribe and uh, for those who don't know we have three giveaways uh, for 3,000 subscribers. I'm trying and doing my best as much as possible to get the gift related to the Pocket 6K um, or 6K Pro because uh, my greatest views on this journey has been since I got this camera and you guys have been supportive so I might as well try to give to you guys back you know so um, a lot of gifts uh, related to this Pocket 6K um, I will be giving out uh, well at least one or two maybe one or two items related to the pocket 6k i'll give out okay so that being said let's uh, break this down this is um something i've talked about before i'll explain what this is for right now it's acting as my steady cam <laughs> in a way you know to balance it but i'll tell you what this is actually for uh, why you need it in your setup now for those who don't know i already made a video about this before i have three options for you guys to choose um yeah this is the one i talked about in the actual video that i made um it's called uh, new power i was trying to advocate or cam campaign for these things because of the price and weight that you know that these things can very well replace VMAT batteries at least to some to some extent um, they're very sturdy uh, but I still will go for a better way of mounting I know this doesn't fall off but still not very ideal so if we can get actual mounting system better ones that even feels like locked or wrapped up that would be nice of course there are some other units that you will find around uh, for example this unit that I use to power up my laptop on set because when I go on set like if I'm shooting a long uh, uh, narrative or documentary I like to have my laptop with me so I can transfer files and um, to some other externals and uh, you know be able to do that repeatedly while I shoot so this is to power up my laptop but it's got that USB PD power and uh, that can power this camera as well so there are many options like this but they are not portable this is small but it's not something you can mount you know it's not something that you can mount on your rig so, so I, I picked up three items here that you can choose from three power banks I'm going to write their names and show uh, pictures and their prices on the screen so you guys can take a peek if you choose this rig setup you know if we choose this setup now this uh, cable is a little bit long i could not find the original one from blind spot it's a lot shorter and just fits in here but i'll put the links in the description it goes in here so but I, what i do is i wrap it around like this so it stays uh, out of the way so good to go now things to note about this power pd power bank stick with 12 volt 3 amp I've seen units that will work temporarily and start giving problems. You don't want to mess with your system. 12, what they recommend is 12 volts, 3 amps. Don't do 2.5 amps. Don't do um, 12 volts, 2 amps. It will charge, if you connect it, if you connect 12 volts and 2 amps, you will see the battery light come on and you will say it works. Yeah, you'll see the battery light like you see the red light over there. When you turn the camera on, you you see that it can't really power, it shuts down. It can't really power on the camera. And when you do that repeatedly, the camera can go bad. If, if not, the port, the port can be blown off. So be careful uh, what unit you use. These ones I have tested and I will recommend. Here are the three I have tested. Um, 
and I'll tell you the prices. This is the cheapest. This is the cheapest. This is about 49 uh, bucks. It was at 35 bucks, but I guess demand started making it uh, a little bit pricier. Um, it was as it came out at 35 bucks and now it's 49 and some change i'll put it on the screen well this is the best option for in terms of price this one is the perfect size this is 70 bucks however check out this difference the size difference so this one is a lot more portable almost the same size this guy is not available right now i'm sure they'll get back to stock but if you can't wait and you don't mind the price this is 70 bucks and it's a lot more portable it fits here a lot better why this is just all right now the third one has a lot of you will not may not want it but it's larger but this guy has um a lot more power than the others now it fits all right still lighter than the vmat battery you know but it's up to you how you think what you think about it let me give you let you get a look at it okay it is very powerful this is the most powerful of the three so you see they have their indications this one has this one shares the percentage of the charge life so you can actually see how it's doing um, that they all have their indications of battery life okay now lastly before we wrap it up this guy these devices they are not your regular power banks it's called pd power banks these things can charge your laptop same thing with this unit that i told you about for a situation where we have a monitor for those of you who want to shoot like i don't need a monitor on most on this kind of setup i don't need a monitor i can rock with this but um i would have loved in a situation where they have both inputs, USB-C inputs, two of them. They always come with one. They have these ones for your other charging, but this is the one where you can power your system. Uh, I still don't, I still haven't found a device that has two of these, so you can actually power your, your camera and your monitor. Now there's a cable for the monitor too, which comes like this. So this goes to your monitor, this goes to your, um, power bank connect this guy here any device that has this um, 12 volt uh, you know regular monitor mount can also be powered with this device like lights like some um, LED lights with this that, that can be powered with this I've used them to power up lights before which is great. They are quite handy. Now, this is what I was hoping uh, they would do on these devices. And I know they can do it, but they just don't think that, you know, they think that they're trying to make it versatile and have many, many outputs options. So this is here, this is here, this is here. But all we really need for such is two of these. We don't even need that. I normally don't charge my phones with these things. When I'm on location, this is what I use it for serious business, not for charging of phones. My phone can survive some other way. There are options. We need two USB-C um, stuff like this. Now, uh, let me explain what this is for. These power banks are not your everyday power banks. They come with their cables. They come with their cables, but they don't come with their charging units. This thing is, um, it's usually sold separately. It's not expensive, about 16 bucks or so. There are different variations, there are different options, but this I found, they're usually very big, uh, but I find this size portable. These are what you charge these things with. If you have this on your Mac, if you're not using it on your Mac, then you can use it as well, because I found that they work because they are as powerful. They are PD devices, I think. But I tried it and it works, no problem. To charge the unit, you can't just plug in any USB uh, because these cables, are they come with it, you know. You can't just plug in any USB and charge and expect everything to be fine, no. You need the cable that comes with it, um, unless it's a PD device from one of these ones as well, then everything goes well. But you need one of these at the other end to charge this device. 
so all the links i'll put in the description and yes so you should be good with all the information if there's any other thing i forgot you check out the previous videos so so this one is this one last for three uh, about three hours 45 minutes tested same thing for this one three hours 45 minutes this is about four hours 30 minutes both of them are about the same weight and this one is obviously a little bit heavier but still slightly you know it's not as heavy as it looks you guys can make take your pick the most powerful the most expensive 110 i think the smallest and mid expensive the medium size but the cheapest so you guys can take your pick i hope this video helped somebody thank you guys for watching like subscribe don't forget at uh, 3000 subscribers giveaway in other words three giveaways three giveaways for 3000 subscribers coming soon depending on how fast we get me there so um, watch out for that on the channel like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.